hello everybody it is leah with a y and welcome and welcome back to my channel if you are new or not new um first things first if you are new to my channel and you are just now stumbling across my videos or if your videos are in, my videos are ending up on your recommended uh, page or whatever go ahead and hit that subscribe button turn that red button gray make sure that your post notifications are on so that you can be notified of every time i post a new video that way you don't miss a single thing be sure to like this video comment under this video and you know let me know what you think about it i want to make content that you all like okay okay now we've gotten all the pleasantries out of the way let's talk about what we need to talk about this video all right now i have always been a small girl i've always been petite i ain't never had ass titties hips thighs none of that shit okay i've had i mean my titties were a decent size you know what i'm saying like i've i think out of the friend groups that i've been in sometimes when we were developing i think my titties were a little bit bigger but that's neither here nor there okay but i've never been like a curvy curvaceous voluptuous girl but i've always been bomb i've always been cute okay let's not get that mistaken i've always been um a pretty ass girl always been gorgeous you know i've always gotten compliments on my physical appearance my smile um my skin color because you know melanin pops always okay all the motherfucking time all day every day 24 8 goddamn anyways but i've always been cute so um this this thing that i'm doing right now is i know you're probably like why it's a weight gaining journey i'm trying to gain a little bit of weight right I have gotten to the point where I've gotten a little bit too small for my own liking. And so I just decided today that, not today, but like some weeks ago, that this is what I would do. I've unofficially started doing this. There are a couple things that I have done. Uh, there are a couple things that I want to do. There are a couple things that I'm not going to do. And I'm going to try to hit on all those points without making this video entirely too long and without rambling. So let's start off with the things that I haven't done or let's start with the things that i won't do okay let, let, let's go and get those out of the way let's get the don'ts out of the way all right so i won't be doing this for anybody else but myself that's first and foremost the first time i tried to do this and gain some weight i was trying to appease somebody else i was in a three-year relationship that was full of toxicity and just not what i needed and when i went on this journey to try to gain weight i was really trying to be the physical girlfriend that he wanted he wanted me to have a certain body type and when it, when I didn't have that he belittled me for it and so to um avoid to avoid him belittling me and berating me I thought that I would try but I was forcing myself to do things because it was what he wanted you know I was doing it his way so I'm not doing that anymore. This is all for me. This is about me. This is what I want to do. I don't give a fuck about what nobody else thinks. This is it's strictly me. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 for me. You know, that's that's the one thing. The second thing that I won't do, I will not compare my journey or my progress to that of other people's. I have watched YouTube videos of girls who have gone on there, who have started their journey. And have been on their journey for a while and have you know found ways that help them and you know if i do see people on on a similar journey to mine i'm not gonna say oh well they're here and they've only gained you know they've been doing this for four weeks okay and like wherever they are you're gonna get there you know what i'm saying but it is what it is i'm not going to sit here and compare myself to other people whatever is going to happen will happen and i'm just gonna let stuff flow naturally another thing is i won't force I won't try to force anything if something if something that i'm doing isn't working for me then i'm just not gonna do it because at the end of the day like why sit here and try to force something to work that clearly clearly isn't going to work you know so i won't force anything i'm also not going to try to hurry up and gain you know gain the weight i'm going to let it come naturally i'm going to let it do what it needs to do i'm going to let my body do what it needs to do to put on the weight I'm not going to force it. I'm not trying to look for a quick fix or a quick way to gain weight. I just want to gain weight slowly and naturally, as natural as possible. So I won't I won't rush it. I won't rush the process. This is going to this is going to require a lot of patience for me. And I also won't beat myself up because of some goals that I didn't reach. That's not that's not going to happen. That's not what I'm about to do. 
I feel like a lot of the time when we're going on, when we're, when we're trying out new things or we're going on different, when we're going on a journey and we're in different stages of it or whatever, I feel like we beat ourselves up because we don't reach certain goals and stuff like that. And it's just like, hey, you still have time. You know, you still have time to reach the goal. Now you can set a time limit and say, hey, by in three months, I hope to, you know, have become more patient or I hope to have walked 10,000 steps in three months or I hope to be able to run a mile without stopping in three you know what I'm saying whatever your goal is but if you don't reach that goal then that's fine just keep just keep working at it until you do and that's exactly what I'm going to do I'm going to keep working at whatever goal I have set until I reach it so that's that's what I won't do I won't um I won't beat myself up for not reaching any goals okay now let's talk about some things that I have done um, since, you know, unofficially starting this, this journey. The first thing that I did was I did some research on different things, like different ways you can gain weight. Are there some supplements you can take? Are there foods that can, that you can eat that will help you, that will aid in weight gain? What, like, what do I need to do? So, that's the very first thing that I did. And I found that there are certain foods you can eat. I had looked this up in the past, but it was one of those things I was just kind of like, oh, okay. But now I'm actually, because I'm taking this series, I'm actually trying to, I'm actually actively, I'm not trying, trying to take charge of your vocabulary. I am actually actively looking up things. I am looking at other YouTubers who have gone through a similar journey, looking at what they did, trying to figure out what I want to use. And, why, and, I've, and in doing so, I've come to the conclusion that I'm just going to do what I want to do. And I will do my, like, I will look at their stuff and I'll see like, hey, maybe I could incorporate this into, you know, my eating plan or into my regimen and see, see what works. This is going to be a lot of trial and error. So I'll incorporate certain things, but I'm not going to just take what one youtuber what what one youtuber did and you know make it what you know and, and do it for myself like I, I won't do that um so that's one thing that i've done i've done a lot of research last time i didn't do that i was taking other people's word for it and just going with their recommendations not doing it anymore um the second thing that i have done is i have started to track my calories that i eat whenever i do eat i have you I've started to use an app my fitness pal I've started to use that and that app is really easy for me to use it's accessible with my screen reader because you know some some certain apps are just not accessible so I've started to use that and it's been helping it's been working you know it, it gives you some perspective on just how many calories you actually eat in a day and certain stuff like I remember I loved the fact that I had ate Dairy Queen. I had ate a um, four-piece tender from Dairy Queen or some shit. And it said it had like over a thousand calories. I'm like, damn, I'm halfway to my calorie goal that I'm supposed to have been did. So it is so crazy how certain things contain so many calories and how it can really like put you closer to your goal depending on what you eat. That is That was so crazy to me. I'm just like, wow, that is so amazing. So I've been doing that. Also, I made a grocery list. I put a lot of things on the grocery list that I would like to have in the house so that I can, you know, just, just really get this journey started so that I can, you know, finally do what I've been wanting to do, which is gain the weight. I put some things on there that, you know, maybe aren't so healthy and some things on there that are. So I put like some yogurt, I put some fruit on there, I put some oats, some nuts, chips, cookies honey buns all that kind of stuff now of course you know honey buns and chips and all that kind of stuff yeah i'm gonna eat them but i'm not gonna make that the main source i want to try to do this as be as healthy as possible when doing this but you know i like to eat okay i love to eat so that's what that's what we're gonna do so i made a grocery list of things that i want to have in the house to eat on so that you know i can i can start this uh i can start this journey I said something about calorie goals. So with this app, with the My Fitness Pal app, this ain't sponsored by the way. I'm just telling y'all that this is the app that I use and it works. Okay, it works. It does works miracles for me as of the moment. 
Um, with this My Fitness Pal app, when you first make your account, it asks you some things that you want to work on. Obviously, I said gaining weight. Then, hopefully, y'all don't hear my stomach growling. Rude. Then, um, it will ask you how much weight you want to gain, right? So, I put the how much I want to gain. Then, I, you know, then it, it also asks you what like how much you weigh so i'll put that in there i won't be telling you all the details because that's personal that's personal business so i put that in there and then based off of that information it will give you your calorie count how many calories you need to eat in a day to gain this amount of weight now this is the goal for now but this goal can change this goal you know i, I can change it I'll put on the record, the amount of weight that I want to put on. And then if I like it, you know, I'll maintain it. If not, if I want to be a little bit bigger, a little bit thicker, you know what I'm saying? A little bit more plump. I will, uh, I'll adjust the goal. But for now, it's just a starting point. It's just to see what it's going to be. You know what I'm saying? What it's going to look like. So that's the one thing. So I've, I've, I try to, I do my best to eat and make sure that I'm logging what I eat and that I'm counting calories. And then I'm reaching that goal. I have not been doing very well lately. But it's a process. There are going to be ups and downs. And like I said, this is an unofficial start anyway. So I'm just trying to get myself into the habit of doing it. Making it a part of a habit. It takes 21 days to form a habit. I ain't, it ain't been 21 days. So, um, yeah. So that's what, I've, that's what I've been doing. That's Those are some of the things that I have done. And they have really they've really been helping so some of the things that i haven't done that i need to do i need to get myself on a sleeping schedule i need to get myself going to bed at a, at a reasonable time i also need to get myself to wake up at a reasonable time so that i can eat three times a day that's a goal that i have set i said i want to eat three times a day and i don't want to eat three three to four snacks and if you're waking up at 10 11 12 you know what i'm saying you can eat at 10 o'clock you know have lunch at 12 eat at 2 you know, but if you're eating at 12, that's your first meal. And then, you know, it's just not enough time. You want to wake up in a reasonable amount of time so that you can eat. Um, You can, you know, get, get your three meals and three snacks in. So that's what I'm trying to do. Get myself on a schedule. And then eating more. We only have a whole lot of food in my house right now. So we got to go to shop. We do have stuff in there to eat. But... It's just like getting up and, and going into your refrigerator just to find shit to eat on. It's it's annoying. Like it is the most annoying thing. So just telling myself to get up and eat more and not sleeping during the day. You know, that's one of the things that those are some of the things that I haven't done that I need to do and I'm that I need to do and I'm gonna work on it. You know what I'm saying? Because I have to. Like it I have to. So those are the things that I've done, haven't done, and won't do. But let me give y'all some like some inspiration really quick or some tips and something you know just in case you're going on the same on the same journey that i am or you're going on a different journey maybe these tips will be universal and they can help you but if you are trying to gain some weight write your goals down so that you can see them which is what i'm gonna do write your goals down so that you can see them when you are when you write them down on a piece of paper not in your phone not in your phone Get a piece of, get some pen and paper, write your goals down so that you can see them physically. You can touch them. Because I feel like when you, it, it's something about writing your goals down on paper that like allows you to envision, to visualize them. You know, I don't know what it is. Also, you know, don't beat yourself up and don't compare yourself to other people and their journey. You will get there. You will get to where they are in due time. You'll get there on your own time and you'll be right on time. You won't be late. You'll be right when you need to be when you need to be there. You know, so don't don't stress out about you not being, you know, where you need to be. If you're going on a weight gaining journey, make a list of foods that you want to eat. Make a list of things that you would like to have as snacks. Make a list of things that you would like to have to eat on. Do your research and try to figure out, you know, what foods are going to be beneficial for you. What type of an eating plan, meal plan you need to have. High carbs and high proteins, from what I'm hearing, are like really good to have. So make sure you, you know, just do your research. 
and make sure you do what's right for you. Also, the, I think the biggest tip that I could give you, though, is making sure you know your why and making sure your why does not include anybody else. When, Like I said in the, in, in the um, earlier portion of this video, when I first started my weight gaining journey, I did it because I wanted to appease somebody else's image of me. I wanted to look like how they wanted me to look. Didn't work out because I'm doing it again. And it's okay to fail. You know what I'm saying? That's fine. It is what it is. But when you do it that second time, when you get up and you do it again, make sure that the why this time is because you want to do it. Make sure that you are your reason. You are your why. You know what I'm saying? Ooh, wee. That sounded like a word. Duh. Anyway, make sure you are your why. Make sure you are the reason. Don't, don't let anybody else influence you to do something that you are not ready to do, you know? And just go for it. Also, find something that makes it exciting that will motivate you to want to do it in the first place. For me, it's all the eating that I, that I know I'm going to be doing. That's why I want to do this. Or that's what's going to keep me motivated. All the good foods you can have. Like, eating healthy doesn't mean it has to be nasty. You know what I'm saying? So, find something that will motivate you to get up and, and you know, go work out. Find something that will motivate you to get up and, you know, make yourself look pretty today or dress up or whatever it is, whatever it is you're trying to do. Find find something that 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 will serve as a motivation. Like I said, for me, it's food. I like to eat. I like I love eating. It's fun. It's like the best part of, of making a meal or watching a meal be made. OK, so, yeah, that that's that's what I do. Those are that's that's blah, 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 blah. that's what I do. Those are some tips for you that I think um, would be helpful. If you all uh, like this video and want to see more like it, do me a solid and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go ahead, turn that red button gray. If you don't already, follow me on Instagram as well. That'll be in the description box below. My um, TikTok will also be there as well. But for the record, it's the same as my YouTube channel. So you can follow me on those social media platforms as well. Like this video, comment under this video. And let me know what you think. Let me know what journeys you're going on. Let me know what goals you are trying to reach. And I will see you all in the next one. Y'all take care.